Hello fellow friends, future doctors. Welcome to the first video of Dr. V. So, to be honest, the real purpose, the true purpose of this channel is to learn more about medicine for those passionate about it. We will walk around, we'll experience everything in real life, we'll talk about it, make, I don't know, make presentations, visit places, talk about how we can prevent the most common things we catch, such as the cold, um, learn more about it together. So you might wonder, Dr. V, oh, he's probably a doctor working in some Massachusetts hospital in USA. <laughs> First of all, we're in Canada, we're in Toronto, and I'm not a doctor yet, hopefully one to be. Our location right now is James Gardens Park. It's in Toronto, Ontario. And the temperature outside, I would say, is approximately one degree. One degree Celsius. So much better than yesterday. We had a negative 16 degrees wind chill yesterday. So that was very cold. Now, Let's feed them, shall we? So I'll place the camera over here. Let's get a better angle. Hello, my dear friends, food. So the ducks are very hungry and yesterday I've been reading an article so let's begin our discussion. Yesterday I've been reading an article about ducks and their shape of feet and the reason ducks have webbed feet is actually a result of evolution. Previously ducks well, about a couple of hundreds of thousands of years ago. They didn't have webbed feet, actually. They had... Uh, well, they had the same form, same number of phalanges, but without the webbing. And the reason was because ducks mostly inhabited the land. But so came a change in the, in, in the environment that most food was available only more, more food was available in aquatic environments rather than on land. And that's why those who had better feet, better adapted feet, had more luck in acquiring food and reproducing, having successful reproduction. And that's why because of all the advantages ducks have developed webbed feet over time, as we can see on this one. Web feet and enhances swimming. Makes them much better swimmers. And is natural selection right in front of us guys. Let's try to feed them from our hand. Here you go buddy. Here you go buddy. Hi, no? Everybody said, yeah, be sure to wear your coat, be sure to, you know, properly cup yourself, take warm jacket and make sure you take something to drink, something very warm to drink. There is nothing related with temperature of the air and the chance of catching a cold, being affected by a virus. A cold is basically a viral infection and it requires for a virus to attach itself. Okay, that's it guys, no more food for now. If you plan to go outside, you forgot to bring a hat, you forgot to bring your gloves, don't worry about it. Alright, so now we will um, head further into the park and see what interesting things we'll find along the way. 
Comment if winter is your favorite season. My opinion changes every season. In the winter I say summer, whereas in the summer I say winter is my favorite season, and so and so for spring and fall. A couple of days ago, I was walking by this very trail and I actually saw a woodpecker, woodpecker in one of these trees. It was, I believe, either this tree or here on one of the top branches or this tree. And I was just, you know, moving slowly upwards and searching for those bugs, searching for those critters behind the bark. And I thought it was wonderful, it was a wonderful scene. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera at that time to film it. But as for real life experience, it was the first time that I spotted a woodpecker here in Toronto. So this is the channel which to which we will all contribute. It won't be focused on me. It won't be focused on medical professionals. It won't be focused on one subject. It'll be all of us together contributing. And together we can make a difference.